lending a helping hand to the homeless. That's what some young men set out to do this evening by bringing meals to Milwaukee's tent city. Our Lauren Lindner went along with them. She's live tonight with their story. Lauren. Tom, these young men could have done anything on their day off, but they decided to spend it by giving back to their community. One by one, Kylon Booths and his three friends pack up bags with food. Make sure you get the napkin in there. They're preparing 100 meals for those less fortunate. The way we've grown up, we, you don't waste food because like at the end of the day, it's someone that, that's not eating every day or at all. It started at Booth's job earlier in the week when the restaurant he works at had leftovers from catering an event. They told us we could either take the food home or just throw it away. He didn't feel comfortable wasting it, so Booth's and his friend brought it to the homeless by the Marquette Interchange. What he saw bothered him. It's not a safe place for people to live. Like, it's really bad down there. Like, it's not clean. Wanting to do more, he decided to take the money from his paycheck and buy enough food to feed all of them one meal. So Sunday night, he and his buddies loaded up a car and traveled to Tent City to meet with the men and women camping below the freeway. I genuinely care of what you guys are going through, and that's why I decided to do this. There you go. That's the guy. Providing them with a little sustenance to help them get through their day. It's hard to see like them like this, but I mean, we're helping them to the best that we can. For young men to treat us, a lot of people don't treat us like they treat us. Booths doesn't want this to be a one-time thing. He hopes to continue doing this at least once or twice a month. Reporting live from downtown Milwaukee, Lauren Linder, today's TMJ4. And we certainly need more people like Kylon. Lauren, thank you.